kit for the uh, 2x4, 4x4, and 4x8 routers. Uh, we're going to go over assembly here. So as you unpack your kit, you will have a number of these trays. The first thing to do is to preload these trays. So you have these T-slots, uh, these T-nuts, and you have uh, nylon lot uh, washers, the 5 16 um, dash 18 variety. And what we're going to do here is on each of the big holes in the side, we're going to preload a nut. So just uh, stick the T-slot in, and the T-slot should go on the outside. And you're just going to tighten the nut until it's finger tight. So there's four holes per T-slot, or four holes per sheet. You're going to do four sheets if you got a 2x4, five sheets if you got a 4x4. Four four. So uh, do these, come, uh, pause the video, come back, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to move your gantry all the way back. So uh, you want to move it all the way back against the stop and you want to move it all the way over because those are our limits. Um, after you've done that, you want to take your cable tray and uh, you want to align these T-slots so that they are parallel to the tray. And then we're going to come. So when you put this on here, you want to position it uh, just outside of this first, uh, uh, just outside of this first marker. Um, if you don't and you position it directly at the end, you'll be over this marker and that's not, uh, and the screws won't go in. So after you've done this, uh, you're just going to take a half inch socket here and you're going to tighten up the, uh, uh, you're going to tighten up the screws here. The uh, T-slots should turn and lock in the slot when you start to tighten them. Um, there we go. Get that all tightened up and then you can go through here and tighten up the, uh, the rest of these. After you're done tightening up this unit, you're going to want to take another unit and slide, do the same thing. Position the T-slots. And then you're going to want to slide it into the slot and butt it up against that unit and tighten the whole thing down. So get these two tightened. Uh, pause the video, come back, and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Next step is to take the remaining trays. Uh, it's two trays on the 2x4 and four trays on the 4x4. Four four. And um, stick them in here. So you're going to want to start with the, uh, you're going to want to start with the tray at the end here. And you're going to want to put it in. And then this tray butts right up against it and also goes to the end. So get these two trays installed, tighten, every, tighten up the eight bolts, and then pause the video and uh, come back and we'll go on to the next step. All right, after you got your trays installed, the next step is to install the Y-axis cable chain. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need um, four of the 1032nd by 58 socket head cap screws and four of the 1032nd nylon lock nuts. And we want to install it, so there's three hole patterns here, and we want to install it on the, the first tray on the third hole pattern in. Um, and to install it, all we're going to do is we're going to put a, um, there's four holes here, and so the socket head cap screw goes in the top, push it down in, and then underneath, screw on your um, nylon lock nut. So uh, get these all in, tighten these down um, so that it's nice and snug, 
and then uh, pause the video, unpause it, do it, and we'll move on to the next step. So now that we got our cable chain mounted here, we need to mount it up top to the Z-axis. So to do that, you're gonna need the bracket and the uh, one uh, 5 16th by 3 quarter inch button head cap screw. You're also going to want to use some Loctite here because we don't want this coming loose and it will vibrate loose if you don't put Loctite on. So we're going to put Loctite on, put it in the, um, in the bracket and then on the outside hole here that's not being used on the uh, rack and pinion drive. We're going to set it down in and we're going to tighten it. For now, um, just uh, tighten it down most of the way. Uh, don't tighten it tight just yet because we need to mount this cable chain. In with your kit, you have a bunch of long 5 16 inch bolts. And so and you also have a bunch of 5 16 inch nuts and washers. So what we're going to do here is we're going to thread the 5 16 inch bolt through the other hole. Um, but as you bring the cable chain up here, and uh, we're going to get the cable chain in the holes, and then we're going to put the uh, a washer and a nut. Um, and so, when you put uh, when you put this on here, you're going to want to slide a washer on first, and then you're going to want to put your nut on. And uh, you're just going to want to thread it through here. And then you're going to want to put another nut on, followed by another washer. And so you just want to thread it through by hand here. And then we're going to put another nut on. leave yourself enough you want to leave yourself enough space to do this here it's a kind of a little bit tricky with the cable chain there we go and you're going to want to put your washer on and then after you get your washer on the cable chain, all right, the nut feeds through the other end of the cable chain. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the uh, nut until it goes all the way to the end here. turn this tight but before we turn it tight we want to put a little bit of Loctite on these threads to keep everything uh, to keep this particular nut from loosening so you want to get it finger tight um, but have it still be able to rotate and then we're going to back that off put a little Loctite on these threads and snug this up so it's also finger tight. Now last you're going to take another washer and nut and feed them over this end and again we want to take the same thing here put a little Loctite on and then tighten it down and you still want to be able to move this 
when it's all said and done. And that Loctite is going to keep that entire assembly from moving. So now that we've got this done, we want to test it by moving the axis, the entire axis, all the way to the other end. And so if we just, uh, you know, if we just uh, hand move it, all the way down to the other end. We just want to make sure that everything moves properly and we're all good here. So as you can see, we're, we're pretty good here and we don't need to do anything else with this. Um, and so get this done, uh, pause the video and uh, come back and uh, we can move on to the next step. After you got the Y-axis cable chain in place, you're going to want to take the longer of the two chains, which should be labeled as the X-axis, and we are going to place it on here. Now again, when you place the uh, cable chain down, we want to attach it to uh, the first tray that you put on, one, two, three, so the last one before the first tray. You're going to need the 1032nd by 58 screws and the 1032nd nylon lock nuts again. And uh, you're just going to push, put these down in and uh, tighten the nylon lock nuts on the underside of the carriage. So Now the last step that we're going to do um, to install this is to uh, install it to the uh, gantry. And in order to do that, um, what we need to do here is uh, put on a few nuts and bolts. So you're going to put this, you're going to put a washer on the long hex bolt. And then you're going to put the hex bolt through the first slot and then you're Gonna put a long, uh, another washer on. Put a hex nut on top of that. And we're gonna spin that down. Um, oops, spun it down too much. After that, we're gonna put another hex nut on there. and another washer and then we can put it through the hole the last uh, let's see here and the next step after we get this through is to put yet another washer on followed by a nut and one more what one more nut and washer behind that all right next you're going to spin this whole thing down here is you want to be able to bring this up tight And you want to be able to bring this end up tight against the hex bolt. And so we're going to take our hex bolt and we're going to put it up to put it up to the top right hand screw here. And you're going to thread it in. And you aren't going to thread it in far. You only need to thread it in about a quarter of an inch. Um, you want to keep relatively aligned with the cable chain. Now after you've threaded it in, we're going to take the thread locker and we're going to put it on the end of the thread there. And we're going to spin this tight up against the edge. 
and we're going to lock it in place. Next, we're going to take the Loctite and we're going to do the inside edge over here. Put some, put some thread locker on it so it doesn't come off. And you're just going to spin that down and spin it until it's pretty tight and snug. You should still be able to turn this, but it should be pretty snug here. Next, we're going to take, put both of the washers up against here, and we're going to take thread locker, and we're going to put it on each side, and then we're going to spin the nuts down. until they're both tight. Now you don't want to tighten these until you got both of them down because if you tighten one without the other you're just gonna push against this. And so we check to make sure that we can still move it and uh, it looks like we're good. Now before you uh, really move the machine you're gonna want to give this thread locker some time to set so these nuts don't spin off on you. Um, if you find that they're loose, just relock them and uh, uh, you know just relock them and you can use some of the red thread locker if they all you know if they if they get too bad. So now we have uh, now we have the cable chain done and as a test we're going to roll it. We're just gonna manually move the machine or if you already got it hooked up you can automate you know, you can automatically move the machine. And we're just going to move it up here and check to make sure that we have enough cable chain. If you ran out of cable chain here, don't force it. You probably just switched this chain with this chain. Um, so this chain should be the longer one of the bunch and it's labeled as the Y-axis cable chain. All right. Um, so once you get this all done, it's time to put your cables through. I recommend just running them through if you can. If you don't, uh, if you have a end that won't fit through the chain, here's how we can run them. There are these panels here, and on each panel, there's a screwdriver marking that has pointed in a direction. And what this is saying is, if you get a screwdriver bed up under here and up under here, these panels just pop out. So you can pop out one side of panels and put your cable in. And then they just pop right back into place. So the way that we want to run the cable here is uh, you want to run this side through the cable chain up here and down. For the uh, the y-axis motor on the opposite side, what we want to do is we want to run through this cable chain and then we want to run across this tray. So you can take the cable on the back side here of the tray and all the way down to the y-axis motor. For the z-axis for the z-axis we want to run through the y through this cable chain and hook up here now the same thing applies with limits you can use these trays to run your homing and limit switches um, that's what they're designed for that's why we run the full length especially on the y uh, especially on the x-axis up here um, that's about it for assembly. If you have any questions, you can always email us uh, um, or just go to our website and contact us from there. Uh, hope you have fun with it and hope it uh, helps you keep your cables organized. Thank you.